Hello, mommies. Miss Kia J is back to say the least against my better judgment. I'm going to do a little project. I definitely, when I was coming up with the idea of micro locks, always wanted, you know, the um, blonde hair. I knew I wanted to dye it. I knew I wanted to get it brown. I dyed it from um, a natural black to brown fairly early, but just a very soft, natural brown color. Just use a regular box color. Go back and check out the video. Um, against my better judgment, I am about to do just a small experiment with bleaching some of the tips, some of the curls of my locks, just a few kind of for some highlights. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to use a very dark cinnamon kind of, um, kind of a cinnamon ginger color. I want to do a rinse on it, um, for a couple reasons, the gray, and I want to see if the brown that I do have in my hair will take to you know, a little bit lighter rinse color just so I can know, you know, what my levels are for changing up. So I'm just going to do a few tips. I had a little bit of powder, um, B to W here. So just two quick scoops, less than, you know, the minimum line. And I've got some 30, develop, uh, 30 volume developer. We're going to put just a few. I'm not going to go overboard and I'm going to rinse it out, do some conditioner. I wanted to try this coconut oil shampoo. It's new. I haven't even opened it. And then I'm going to follow it up with the last little dabs of this leave-in conditioner. I am not going to, I've been doing my interlocking all week and I'm not going to palm roll it. I just want to get the color in. I'm going to do the rinse tomorrow, so two separate days. So let's just take a look and see how this experiment turns out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm going to start by taking this updo down. Oh, that feels so good. And then I'm going to start sectioning off my hair just into some quadrants and pulling out just random strands just so that it's kind of sporadic where the color is located, but I'm still only doing my ends. done separating here. Um, I probably feel like I need a few more, just a little bit, but let me go ahead and mix up my um, you know, powder, bleach, developer. This is only 30 developer and I already know my max time is going to be 25 just because again I don't want to go super blonde. Not yet. I want to see how this pop of color looks um, and kind of get an idea of what type of semi-permanent color I want because right now my locks are still new, I'm still working with them, but I would rather color my curls, not the lock, and then I would also rather go ahead and color before they start locking, because I know it's easier to process and paint, it's not super thick as of yet, because my twists have not completely turned into locks, and the interlocking is still pretty fresh, and I figure the curls will still color fairly easy, so I'm going to uh, get this all set up, so just watch how I try to separate these. We're gonna move to putting in the pool. I've already got it separated, ready to go. I'm gonna kind of use that to measure how high up I go. But again, I really just want to get my curls, my little loose ends, and color those. And I can really focus on keeping them moisturized a lot better to prevent breakage.
All right, guys, that's the last one. I think we're good. And just in case you're wondering, this is the Clairol bleach and the developer that I'm using. And then I also have some silver shiny just to make sure it doesn't come out too orange. I'm going to put my cap on, but here come the results, guys.